Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now remember, the order of operations are a set of rules or instructions that we need to follow in order to solve problems with multiple operations and steps correctly. It goes parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, and then addition or subtraction. So we can remember those steps with the following acronym, PEMDAS. Now I do have an intro video to the order of operations and I would start there first before these uh, more complex problems. I'll drop that link down in the description and then you can try these order of operations problems. If you're ready for this video, let's jump into number one where we have parentheses five plus seven and parentheses times four minus 20. So let's go through our process or steps here and start with, are there any parentheses? Yes, so that's where we start with the five plus seven in the parentheses. So five plus seven is 12. So I would suggest doing one step at a time and breaking these problems down until you get to that final answer. So we have 12, let's bring everything else down that we did not use. So the times four and the minus 20. So now we have multiplication and subtraction. So any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we do next. 12 times four is 48. Bring down our um, subtraction sign and 20, everything we did not use. And then we're left with only subtraction, so that's where we end. 48 minus 20 is going to give us 28, and that's our final answer. So let's move on to number two, where we have parentheses, nine plus 21 divided by seven, end parentheses, plus three to the third power or three cubed. So any parentheses? Yes, so that's where we start. Now we have addition and division within those parentheses. So we kind of have an order of operations problem within an order of operations problem. So let's go through our steps for inside those parentheses. Any parentheses inside the parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's where we start. 21 divided by seven, and that's going to give us three bring down everything we did not use and keep everything in the same exact order. And we wanna keep those parentheses around the nine plus three. You keep the parentheses there until you solve everything within them. So now let's go through our process again. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, so that's what we do next. Nine plus three is 12 bring down everything we did not use in the same exact order, and continue to go through our process. So we start all over. Any parentheses here? No. Any exponents? Yes. So three to the power of three, or three cubed. That does not mean three times three. It means, let's move up here, three times three times three. So three times three is nine, times three gives us 27. So three cubed equals 27. Bring down everything we did not use, so the 12 and the addition sign, and we end with 12 plus 27, which is 39. So our final answer for number two, 39. On to number three, where we have eight, parentheses, six plus three, end parentheses, minus 11. Now I do wanna mention, whenever you have a number right next to a set of parentheses, it's multiplication. So that's eight times six plus three in those parentheses minus 11. So let's go through our process. Any parentheses? Yes, that's where we start. Six plus three gives us nine. Bring down everything we did not use. So bring down the eight and we can put a multiplication sign in between that eight and nine now, minus 11. 
Make sure you use some type of symbol in between the eight and the nine to indicate multiplication. You can't just drop the eight down right next to the nine because you would have 89. All right, so let's go from there. Do we have any parentheses left? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we do next. Eight times nine, which is 72 minus 11 bring down that subtraction and the 11. So we're only left with subtraction. So that's where we end. So 72 minus 11 gives us 61. And we are done with number three. So on to number four, where we have parentheses, 19 minus six plus five squared and parentheses plus parentheses, 20 divided by four and parentheses. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, we have two sets of parentheses here. So let's just work our way from left to right. So we'll start with the set of parentheses on the left where we have 19 minus six plus five squared. So this is one of those problems where we have order of operations within order of operations. So we have subtraction, addition, and an exponent there. So any parentheses in the parentheses? No, any exponents? Yes, we have five squared which is not 10. It doesn't mean five times two, it means five times five. So let me write that out up here. This means five times five. That gives us 25. Bring down everything we did not use, keep everything in order, and we'll go from there. So any parentheses in those parentheses? No. Any more exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? No. Any addition or subtraction? Yes, we have both subtraction and addition. Now remember, addition and subtraction are both level four. Addition is not more important or it doesn't come before subtraction. They're both level four. So we go left to right. So we do subtraction first here, 19 minus six, which is going to give us 13. Bring down everything we did not use. So now we have 13 plus 25 within that uh, set of parentheses, and that is going to give us 38 plus 20 divided by four. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, we have that 20 divided by four, so that comes next. 20 divided by four is five. Bring down everything we did not use, and we end with addition 38 plus five, which equals, running out of room here, 43. So our final answer for number four is 43. So there you have it. There's how you solve order of operations problems. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.